Alright, what's up, happy people? As many of you know, we just left Rhoda in Saipan, headed home, but we stopped in Guam and ran into these characters. Now, you might recognize him, <laughs> but this is his nephew? Yes, sir. Ken. And he owns Shut Up and Fish. We came down and did a news interview today, and I was like, man, I'd love to go fishing. He's like, let's go. Dude, he is on a mission. <laughs> he knows who he's fishing with. Let's rock this sucker. Hell yeah, let's do this. Alright you guys, so we're gonna get started. That's a little medium-sized cowbell, and we're gonna fish it on the wire rod. That wire line is gonna run a little bit deeper. Anytime I'm running a wire line, I wanna run a little jet just above it. So if the fish comes in and one eats the wire line, the second one will eat the surface bait right above it and that is a great size lure. Right now, a lot of the wahoo around here have been 10 to 35 pounds. So we've got baits that are targeting that size fish. you're on the hill. Drive the boat. Down by We will be on a plane just like that, heading to Honolulu, and then on to Florida. But if you've got a 20 hour layover, what better to do than meet up with some rad locals and go wahoo fishing? Every wahoo fisherman knows that right now is prime time. Early in the morning, late in the afternoon, we've got a, uh, not a full moon, but it's probably about four days before the full moon. It's looking good, y'all right here on the edge of a beautiful island, the island of Guam. We're up towards the northern tip. We're running here along the reef. Uh, generally, the, the wahoo like to, to hunt for their food in the shallow water, so that's what we're doing right now. Hopefully we get lucky. If it happens, it happens. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it though, so hang tight and just wait for the bite. Fish on, got one right here! Definite wahoo bite. Fishing a wire line like this, you just want to keep the fish's head coming right to you. Don't even take the rod out of the rod holder. Keep them coming right to you. I knew it was about time. The outgoing tide just started. Late in the afternoon, and it's money time, y'all. Does someone have some gloves on? Nice fish, nice fish, y'all. Yes! Hey, this is the best layover ever. Keep the boat moving forward. That keeps that fish's head coming straight. All is good in the neighborhood. Captain Finn, you ready? Here we go, he's right here. Yes! That's Wahoo should see me right there, y'all. I want you to see something real quick, okay? And none other than the lead that I told homeboy about right here. There we go. That's the guarantee. Don Pedro! Come down here, Junior. Come, come here. here. Come here. Hey, let's put 
the background so you get to know Hey, it ain't the biggest who, but it's a who. Listen, here in Guam and in the CNMI, it's about catching food. It's about catching fish that you can eat and enjoy with your family and with your friends. Look at this little junior right here, man. I've never seen anybody so excited about fishing than this guy. Up there driving the boat, stinking, tying lines at the dock. Yeah, buddy. When we go back to dock, can you show me like a recipe or some way to eat this fish the way you eat it? For sure. Whammy! There we go. Dude, let's catch one more. I knew it, man. The sun was going down and it just got perfect. I said, Yes. Ensuring the quality of our catch is very important. So what we do is, real quick. Oh, you guys we're gonna get We're gonna get some salt water into the cooler. And get the fish in a nice salt water brine. Just like that, all right? That's how you properly care for your fish when you catch it. Hashtag just like that. That's how we do it on the Don Pedro. All right, you guys, so we put them back out for just a second, but it's getting dark and all they really wanted was enough for dinner. We got that, now we're heading back. Right. Is this your first Wahoo you've ever cleaned? Uh, today it is. <laughs> so, I'm a little nervous on the spot, but let's do this. All right, here we go. Turn it this way real quick. Diggy diggy. Bam! Bam! <laughs> One more time. Bam. And you do this every day for all your clients? Every day. Not only is he a charter captain, he's also a gourmet chef. Where do most of your clients come from that fish with you? Oh man, we get people here from all over the world. We got uh, from Florida to China, you know, North Korea even. I mean, that is sushi grade perfection. All right, I'm gonna come in right here, just like that. And we're gonna keep on cutting till we fill it up. If you notice what he's doing, when he puts his fingers on this side, it keeps the blade from pulling the meat out of line. And it allows the, the blade to make a perfect cut. This is the magic potion, y'all. We're gonna start with wasabi. Soy sauce, yes sir. Wasabi's best friend. Sesame oil. Sesame oil. Yes sir. Is it a nice little... Oh, it smells so good. It smells like toasted sesame seeds. And this is a Korean chili paste. Uh, I was turned on to this by a bunch of my Asian customers, obviously. They bring this and they eat it just like wasabi. Really? Yes sir. You're gonna try it. It's actually really good of Wahoo. Is it like sriracha? It's sweet. Sriracha is more of a salt, right? This is a sweet. Okay. Sweet flavor. Now are these just locally cut, uh, grown limes? Locally grown lemon. Look at that color. Dude, this is... And we're gonna take a little piece of it and squeeze it into the soy sauce and sesame oil. All right, one more. There you go. All right, you guys. So we took this 
cut it into that, and then made this. How epic is that? Now, come on, Junior, take the first bite. Take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a lot of bit of that. Good. Look at that chili paste. Money. Dude, it's good, bro. It's I only that's why ate I'm that. Introducing it to you. I only ate that because I respect you. I was expecting it to be super hot. It's got a little bit of spice, it's sweet, and it just fills your mouth up with it's flavor. Good, dude. It's really good to walk with. Yo. It it adds so much. So wow, wow, we. All right. Hey. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you, buddy. A lot of people here, I want to go share this fish with them. But I want to tell you that I love you and I appreciate you watching our channel. I appreciate you being a part of all of this. Your your support, your encouragement, your thumbs up, your likes, they keep me going. What I ask you to do, go check him out on YouTube and Instagram. There will be links in the description below. He's an awesome guy. He works super hard. He loves his family. And he's a great dad. I now consider you a great friend. Thank you. Buddy. This will not be the last time. But for now, that's all I got. You guys go check him out. Take care. God bless. We're gone.